So, how do we create our maze project? So we're going to, this is our example of our maze project. Start with our project name, place it in a place where we can get it, make sure it's 3D and create project. The first thing we need to do is we need to create a plane and a terrain. Here we go. Creating a terrain, creating a plane. Within the assets folder, we need to create um, a folder for scripts. We need to create a folder for um, different assets, um, and walls, etc. So here we go. So we quickly create a materials folder, uh, a textures folder, and we grab textures that we need in here. So I've got a maze. There we go. Place it in. Place the maze texture onto the plane. Then we need to build the walls on the actual plane. I would probably start by building all one type of wall and then try the other. When the maze is complete, we can then start organising over here our actual uh, walls. So the organisation should have a first maze and in there you should have north south walls east west walls and other elements or if you've chosen to organize yours from outside walls to inside walls you can do that as well once we've created our different mazes i've got first maze over here second maze over here and third maze over here we've got different size mazes or they're the same maze this particular one but i'm going to have to work out a way of getting from here to here to here that is going to have to include dealing with steps. It's also going to have to deal with interactive objects. And so that's what I'm going to have to do. I'm also going to make this a glass style maze where you can see through it. So we need to get a glass texture and we need to make it see through. On each part of my maze, I now place the glass texture. I now need to make it see through. In order to do this, I need to go over to my materials, my glass texture over here, my glass material, go to where it says opaque and change it to transparent. I now need to import assets, import package characters so I can get my first person character. It imports the package. Under standard assets, I click on characters, first person character, prefabs, FPS controller, and place it within my game. Now I can press play to have a look. To make this further transparent, I actually need to go to my glass cube, to one of my glass cubes, and have a look at uh, the glass where it says standard, click on here and go down to where the unlit where it says transparent and it changes these all to fully transparent. So once we've created our mazes and we've organized our mazes into different things, so I've actually got a marble floor for each of these so it just makes it easier to see. Um, we've got our first maze at the bottom, second maze at the top and third maze at the, there. What we then need to do is need to do some interactive objects. So what I would suggest is you create one wall that actually falls down in each maze. So we'll do that. So I'm going to make this wall. I've lengthened that wall. And what it's going to do is it's actually going to fall down on top of the next maze. So in order to do that, what I need to do is I need to go to component, go to physics and go to rigid body. And that is as simple as that. So I'm going to come to that wall, knock into that wall, and it should fire down. Mass is 1. We'll make this mass 0.1 so it's nice and light under the rigid body. Let's run that again. If it doesn't work now, it could be something else. Oh, there it is. There it goes. And we've made it fall. Of course, this creates an obstacle over here. So we need to be aware of it. But we've got to put at least um, three um, walls that have rigid body. 